Let's go. Times around the bases. Our first stop is in Cincinnati, where Ellie De La Cruz was the fastest to 10 home runs and 20 solo bases in MLB history, getting there at 64 games. I want you to look at two plays he was Special. part of yesterday. Look, look at his speed, the way he runs the bases. He went first to third. I think we have the video coming up. First to home. Easy. He scored easy he on this play. He CD Lamb. Nope, the Dallas Cowboys playing on baseball. This. The lot, like you forget it because you think of the older version, but I actually saw the A ball version of Vlad Guerrero Sr. Long uh, yeah, limb, like good. like very like good. like Vlad Guerrero felt like he went first, third, and seven steps. Yeah. He was caught stealing last night. He's on first, and the ball's almost in the catcher's glove. By the way, Logan O'Poppy came back. Yes, hit a dinger. Check out this tweet I saw from Jeff Fletcher of the Orange County Register. Look where he is in relation to the baseball. this delayed steal action? <laughs> He's just challenging himself? I think for me, when I watch him, the Cincinnati Reds have done a great job of, like, putting this wild horse amongst other great young players that, like, Matt McClain looks like Mr. Fundamental. Spencer Steer offensively handles the bat as good as anyone. If I'm Ellie Dela Cruz, I hitch my wagon. I have them move my locker next to Joey Votto until he retires. And I figure out, because if he learns how to control the zone, it's over. It's over. Here, here, here's the thing about them. If we were playing, He's an MVP. If we were playing a game like and teams were stocks and you could buy them, this is a team you mentioned. Those are all rookies. Yeah. Steer, McLean, De La Cruz, Encarnacion uh, Strand. Strand. Uh, by the way, Abbott and Williamson in Williamson the rotation. They have by far the most wins above replacement out of rookies this wow. season. And I think you could clearly see the, the formation of a positional group. Can they go out and get a solid starting pitcher and begin to? There's, there's enough out there. Can I, can I throw one out? Give it to me. So I don't think Joey Votto will be back next year. It's about $25 million. Would you take it and give a one-year contract to Hunyin Ryu and say, work in front of Hunter Green, Does he work, work in front of Lodolo. Would work he work well in that ballpark? I just think he's a good starting pitcher. Yeah, he is. And it's a one-year commitment. If you're wrong about him because he's hurt, whatever, you're out of it. You get another yeah. year of growth with your guys. I think they should be aggressive about finding not just the kind of like Jordan Lyle, we're going to get somebody to eat innings. They should see if they could get somebody who, if it goes right, give me they a, win the give division. Give me a Rias. Yeah. I want but that's a, that's a 200 and whatever million dollar Give me contract. Nola. Let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum Back right now. Right where the New York Yankees uh, lost their ninth consecutive game last night to the Washington Nationals. They mustered just two hits, and that has been part of the problem during this historic losing streak. They are on a nine-game losing streak for the first time since 1982. And there's some uh, startling numbers here, Joel. I mean, you're there on pretty much on a daily basis. They haven't led in a game. I mean, here we are late August. They haven't led in a game since August 14th or August 15th. This is what I'm talking about. Most can, they have not had a lead, Joel, in 61 innings. That's too shy of the franchise record. It make, it, you're right. Now, what's incredible it, is you got that stuff in uh, 2000. 2000 they, made, they won the World, they won Series, the World Series, Series that year, but they, they lost like 15 of the last 18. They almost blew like a giant lead late, late in that year. But, of course, it was is this, championship is core. Is this team capable of that? No. Okay. This, this team stinks. Uh, it, it's been well, bad all year. I don't know how it gets better uh, anytime soon, especially when you look at the quality in the division. It's interesting. Cover your ears, Lauren, because I'm about to say how old I am. Like, people say I haven't seen anything like this. My years covering the beat. The Yankee beat was 89 to 95, 89, 90, 91. They're that pretty was, much the worst team in the sport. Yes, they were. So I was I, in high school watching. Then in 93, Rammers. they started what is a 30-ish year streak of never having a losing season and being in the race. That's going to probably end this year. They're going to finish under 500. And I just think it's a moment where it's hard to look at any phase of team building or any phase on this team and say, I feel comfortable with it moving forward. There's Where do they go from here, Dero? You have to find the positives, right? You're getting Garrett Cole. You're going to have Rodon. Carlos Rodon back. pitched very well last night. Nestor did he? Cortez. Did he pitch very well yesterday? I mean, it was his best outing three. as a Yankee. You're going to have Nestor had one, what, Did he have one strikeout healthy. yesterday and got Clark three guys Schmidt. thrown out on the bases? He didn't pitch that great. You have what would appear to be headed to Tampa, a really strong rotation. And it yeah. fell, fell flat with injuries. 
offensively that defensively got to get more athletic got to figure out a way to pass the baton score more runs they have way too many they did have and multiple outfields. and I assists. believe in my heart that Anthony Rizzo is fine he he's concussed yeah hopefully so he can, I'll, can I tell you one thing so I'll say this something I've been thinking about a lot I'm gonna have to put it on paper at some point again I was there when stick Michael took over in August of 90 and the first move is not a acquisition it's fumigation Mm. You have to take out what's bad, and they've let a lot of stuff calcify and get bad there. Yeah. And they have to decide what they stand for. I saw Aaron Boone finally get in Harrison Bader's face a little last yeah, night yeah. Dur during um, another moment. Bader and Gleyber Torres are, I do this particularly, where it's like they're playing their own game a lot. And just I, just, I just think at some point you have to say, Hey, it's a losing season, but we're going to stand my for way or sit down. Just to, put this, for something. just to put this uh, losing streak in perspective, the last time the Yankees lost nine games in a <laughs> row. Oh, my God. This is what I looked like. I was 12 years. I mean, Probably look at this. You look the same. Did you finish second in the you auditions for Chachi? For look at You need a chin strap for that hair helmet. I mean, what, what was going on? <laughs> hey, Mom. Mom, seriously. Oh. What was going on with oh that? Oh, my. I, what am, I'm probably sixth, seventh grade there. Wow. Feathered hair. Feathered hair. Playboy chain. So herringbone. I didn't get the memo to bring in. Hit the my, streets, my, baby. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get the memo to bring in my 1982 pictures. Did you I have mean, a herringbone chain? <laughs> you know you did. Puka. Puka <laughs> Joe. Joel, great stuff, man. Good Thank stuff you. as always.